Hello everyone, Master Xeon 101 here, and in this video I'll be talking about a small mini course in which I discuss how I go from a concept sculpt to a more refined retopology to a even sharper gapless retopology and then finally to a subdivision friendly version of the model and then finally the final version as seen here where we finally refine it to a fine touch and add a few decals on it. So without further ado, let's begin. So funny or not funny is I just got through narrating this and it turned out that I actually had it set to the wrong recording device so it didn't work out. So we're just jumping into this. So I uploaded a video last night of me getting in and sculpting this. This up on YouTube would just be too much work. It became more apparent that this would do better as just a standalone course, especially since this was seven and a half hours of content. And in this video, we're just consolidating it down to a few minutes while we talk about it. But really, the point of this whole study was to just get in and sculpt a robot and just talk about the retopologization process, dealing with subdivision, managing your geometry, and just keeping things under control. You know, once I got past the sculpt, the retopology process was underway, which was actually really not that bad. I mean, whenever you start with topology, it's like, oh my God, I have to encompass this whole mesh and mesh. So it seems like so much work, but as you just get in, grit your teeth and just work your way through it, you find that solutions just play off of each other and it starts to get rather fun. So it's really more of a matter of perspective with how you approach it, but still one of my favorite workflows whenever it comes to robot design, because the geometry that you set up sets you up for the future with how you go forward with the model and take it in different directions. But I wanted to start off with a bust for this, so that way, we would just keep things relatively simple instead of getting so expansive with something more complete. So continuing on, after we get through the retopology, that's where the fun begins, where we get in and we just start changing the shape of things and just start working on refinements that can't be done on a concept level. Like I'm a big fan of the grab brush, but I wanted to demonstrate as well what happens if you just try to subdivide and solidify and go for the final result early, which just looks terrible. So up resing is definitely the next step where you go in and you apply level of subdivision and you refine your surfaces to get things to look a lot smoother. So this process was quite expansive. You know, the process of refining your surfaces is almost as long as defining them, especially if your topological flows don't always go along with the forms that you intend to keep. But for this particular example, I did tend to aim for flows that were uh, advantageous to what I was going for. So in the end, the model actually came out pretty nice. So as we continue working on it, as the model gets more and more solid, it definitely becomes more of a breeze and more intuitive to get with versus dealing with a rough, un unsmooth, you know, faceted model. But there's a lot of tips and tricks that were gone over over the course of this tutorial that I feel are definitely worth watching. So, you know, regardless of your skill level, or even if you have the tools or not, you're going to get in and definitely enjoy this. So, you know, this is a super sped up time lapse with several important parts taken out just for the purpose of time. But I just wanted to do a quick narration, just kind of talking about the product and what you can expect in this tutorial. Just the full process from A to Z of going through and making a mech, even adding decals with decal machines. So I hope you just pick it up. There will be an early bird link in the description. And with that, we can wrap this up.